Hey everyone, today I'm going to be showing you a tutorial on the Connects Teeter Totter. So before we begin, I want to point out that this is an intermediate build, not a beginner one. So if you have trouble following along, you might want to try some of the easier tutorials on my channel. So let's begin. First, I want you to make this structure right here. You can pause the video if you need more time. And once you have this structure, I also want you to make um, these pieces, four of these and two of these. You'll also need six red rods, a yellow rod, um, two of these, and three of these, and of course you'll need a motor. So once you have this structure built, this is what I want you to do. Um, you'll have to add these red pieces here just to make it stronger. And to make it even stronger and to make sure it doesn't wobble, you're going to take these three red pieces, put one here, like this, one here, and one here. Next, let's move on to the motor. So, let's take the snowflake piece, put it on the motor like this, like this. And then turn it around and do the same thing on this side, like this. So now you have something like this. You'll want to take this structure and then snap the motor piece right here on the structure. So now you have something like this. Now take these two pieces, put one right here, and then take another one and put it here. Oop. Great. Next, take these two and then put those right on top of here. Right here. Okay? So now this is the first step. You should have this right now. Oh, I forgot. Before we move on, let's take these two yellow rods put one right here and then flip this around put one on the other side of the motor now we're ready to move on so I want you to bring in these two gears a big one and a tiny one for this next step so you're gonna take a yellow rod and a gray connector snap it on like that and then poke it through this hole right here like this. Okay? Then you're gonna snap on one of these, like this, like that, and then take your blue gear and then put it in like this. Make sure it faces the right way. And then close that off using another one of these beige colored pieces. Okay. Now let's take this. Um, red rod and then we're gonna put it through this hole like this oops that and we're gonna do this and we're gonna do this put the gray piece snap it right here snap the beige piece next Put on your big gear and make sure it faces inwards. And, oh, I guess I'm missing this piece. Take another gray piece and snap it right here. So now, after you've completed step two, you should have a mechanism that's looking like this. The gear should be connected too. Now for the third step, I want you to have these made. Two of these, one of these, one of these, and I want you to have four of these gray separators. So let's get into this. Take three of these gray separators and slide them through the red rod, the red rod. Then take an orange piece, snap it, Take your last gray separator, put it in, and then snap on your um, other orange piece. 
you're going to take this piece and slide this one through it like that and then put a gray another gray separator piece here and snap it on like this and make sure it faces the right way so this is the third step and now let's move on to the rest of the teeter-totter and put this aside so for the next part of this video we're going to be making this arm the arm that swings back and forth so let's go down on the floor to set up I want you to make 10 of these structures it's pretty simple um, I'll just show you and then you can take a look at it and build 10 of them and once you have 10 of them you're gonna connect them all like this so you're gonna take one and take another and snap them on like this and I want you to do this with five of them and then make a separate one with the other five All right, so here is one arm, and here is the other arm. So after this, this is what it should look like, and this, and you're done. So let's move on to the next step. Now for the fifth step, we're going to be making the base that holds up these two arms. So once again, pause the video if you need more time, but I want you to make this structure, which is... Wait, let me show you better. Like this. With the 3D pieces facing away from you. If I turn it like this, you'll have seven yellow rods poking out of the back. And I'll also want you to make the another structure that looks just like it. Except these pieces are pointing towards you and not away from you. Now, all we're going to do is take these two pieces and connect them like this. It should look like this, like that, and now we're going to add something onto it. So I want you to make this structure, it's also very simple and it's symmetrical. Let's put this down. Take a red rod and a gray connector, slip it in like the back like this, and then take this and slip it through make the red rod slip through like that and then close off the red rod so there you have it let's put it aside with everything else that we've made just to recap you should have the motor parts the two arms and the base all done alright now we're almost near the end so let me tell you what's gonna happen we're gonna put all of the pieces together and then we're going to do some fine tuning to make it work even better. So let's get straight into this. So put the arms aside for now and we'll take the motor piece and the base and then we're going to connect them over here. We're going to connect them over here. So let's do that right now. Snap. Okay. So this piece, this is all done. Now let's connect the arms. We're going to take one arm and then connect it here like this. Then we're going to take the other arm and put it on this side. So for the first fine tune, we're going to want to connect the motor arm to the swinging arm. So we're going to take the second blue rod right here, open it, slip a gray thingy in, and then close up the blue rod. And then to make sure that the gray one stays to over here, over here, we're going to snap a piece here just for stability. Okay, now we have something that we can snap on and connect it with. 
So for the second fine tune, we're going to take two of these yellow pieces and we're going to put these two yellow pieces on the arms. So for, for we're going to put it here, like this, and make sure that you spread them out as far as possible. And then you're going to take two more pieces and do it on this one and make sure that you skip one blue rod every time. Alright, so the third fine tune is just as simple and it's building on the second fine tune. So you're gonna take 10 of these gray rods, the longest kind, and then using the second fine tune with these yellow ones, just connect them like this. So now we're making a, a, a ramp for the ball to roll on. Now for this fourth fine tune, I want you to make four of these and take four yellow rods. So on the very left of the left arm, we're gonna put these two and two of these and make sure that they're facing up. And then we're gonna take a yellow one and snap it right here. And make sure that it snaps about halfway. I found that's like the perfect height. Like that. And then we're also going to do that on the other side. And now let's move to the right arm. And we'll do the same thing. So take these orange and whites. Snap them right there. And then take these yellow rods. Snap one there. Make sure it's about middle. Snap another here. So you might be asking, why do we need string? Well, we need, well, you don't actually need string, but I like to use it because it highly reduces the chance of the ball falling off the tracks um, while it's rolling back and forth and back and forth. So I've already went ahead and put on the string because it takes a bit of trial and error to get the right tension. So when you apply, when you um, put on the string, you want to make sure that it's right there on the yellow piece where it sort of curves inwards. And once you have the string attached, it's pretty much done. So let's put a ball on and see how well it works. Before I end off this tutorial, I want to point out something. On this motor, you always want to push it this way to turn it on and not that way. Because if you turn it to the right, then the uh, this arm will snap um, because of the pressure or something. I don't know. But make sure that you always push it this way to start it. Well, thanks for watching this tutorial and sticking around with me to make my Connect Teeter Totter. Um, if you haven't seen the original video that I uploaded, quite a few months ago, you can click here to go to it. Thanks for watching and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye!